Hey guys, here we are in Ladue. Um, she's got a steam boiler. It's currently 250,000 BTUs an hour. Uh, we're looking at replacing it um, with a slant fin. Uh, steam boiler that's much smaller. Uh, we don't need this big of a boiler anymore because they really cut down the area of the house that's served by the steam boiler. Um, the uh, so I'm going to show you. So they do have a condensate pump back here. A condensate return pump and tank. And the question is, is can we get rid of this? Because if we're going with such a small boiler, now, um, can we get rid of that? Uh, we do have an automatic water feed. You see that back there? They have no backflow preventer on it. Um, got all these old traps. In the lines with steam vents on top. The uh, she hasn't flushed this thing in three years. She didn't know that you were supposed to flush it. Uh, the boiler is broken. It's leaking, uh, leaking all over. She does have a. Uh, uh, I wonder what that pipe is doing. There. Oh, that's the overflow for the boiler it goes into the condensate pump. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Here's the tag on the existing boiler. It's here right now. Uh, looks like it's 300,000 BTUs an hour. Um, you know, this side of the house all the piping is under concrete slab right here. Um, and as you go, there's numerous other pipes that go through this concrete slab. You have a draft inducer on this liner. This is going to need a six inch chimney liner in here. The water heater is uh, hot water, um, I mean, is uh, electric, so we don't have to worry about venting that. Let's see. draft switch there on the side. So the question is, you know, do we need that tank and pump? And, uh, but I think that's about it. It's going to be a heck of a job on there. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Oh, there's another water heater.